So uh, welcome to my tiny biz talk. Um, I've just taken the Tableau specialist exam and I'd like to share some tips and tricks that I found useful um, when preparing and taking the exam. So the first question is, am I ready to become a Tableau specialist? And I think for most people, the answer is yes. Um, this is Tableau's entry level qualification. Um, Tableau themselves uh, think you need about three months of experience with the product. And even though this is pitched at a beginner sort of level, I think it's valuable for everyone. So even if you're an advanced user who hasn't yet taken the certification, I think um, it's a definitely a worthwhile experience because um, the scope of the exam is quite broad. And I think it'll touch on things that you might not have uh, touched on since you picked up the software. So it's a great uh, chance to one, consolidate the skills that you already have, but perhaps uh, acquire or refresh uh, some new ones. It's also the first step in a, a three step process to become a Tableau certified pr professional, which is their uh, top level uh, qualification. So what can I do to give myself the best chance for success? I've broken this down into things you can do beforehand, um, preparation and resources, some stuff you can do during the exam, like exam technique, and then what happens afterwards. So how can I prepare? Uh, the first thing that I would look into is Tableau's uh, provides the syllabus and an exam guide. Um, so as you can see here, this is a list of all the different topics that could come up on the exam. And if you're a beginner, you might want to go through this sequentially and work through each one. Um, if you're a more advanced user, perhaps just pick a few that you're a little unsure of and uh, concentrate your revision on that. So this is a good starting point. Once you've got an idea of the syllabus, the next place to look are some online resources. And there are really tons, there are tons and tons available. Um, you can look at some Tableau made resources. Um, if you go down that route, there's a couple of options. There's some free training videos, which are really great. Um, there's also paid options. So you can subscribe to their e-learning platform. Or if you're a complete beginner, perhaps a instructor led course might be better for you because it'll be more complete and give you a better introduction. Uh, to the software. You don't have to use Tableau's resources. There are some great external ones too. Um, I found a course on Udemy that I thought was really good, really clear and provided some questions as well. Um, you don't have to pay for resources to do this exam. There are, there are lots and lots of free, free ones are available. Um, I would certainly check out some videos on YouTube. Um, there's some really talented Tableau users there that produce some great content. So yeah, don't feel you have to pay for resources. They are freely available. And then finally, once you're pretty familiar with the syllabus, I would definitely look at some sample questions. Um, not only will this get, uh, give you a better idea of the level of difficulty of the questions, it'll also give you a good insight into how they're worded and the types of things that they're looking for. So definitely have a go at some questions. What should I expect on exam day? Uh, the first thing to note is it's a proctored exam. So that means it's invigilated. Um, you sign into a virtual machine at a specific time and someone watches you take the exam. Um, it's an hour long and you get a bit of extra time at the start to set up everything and make sure everything's working correctly. The test itself is multiple choice and it's a mixture of practical and theoretical. Um, even the practical questions are, are multiple choice. You build a viz and then answer questions based on this. Um, I found the scope of the theoretical questions quite broad. Um, you're not allowed notes, but you can use the browser in the virtual machine to Google anything you don't know off the top of your head. Exam technique. I found the best thing to do was to quickly go through and answer the theory questions I knew off the top of my head, then spend some time doing the practical ones as they take a little bit longer. And then at the end, just come back and look at the ones you needed to Google and quickly Google them. I left five or 10 minutes at the end just to check through my answers because particularly with the practical questions, I found the wording a little unclear on a few of them. So definitely worth checking. Once you finish, you get your results immediately. Uh, you're taken to a screen that looks just like this. Um, ultimately, there are only two outcomes. You either pass or you fail it. If you pass, great. Um, still take a look at the category group breakdown because there could be a few points that you could have picked up. If you're unsuccessful on your first attempt, that's fine too. Um, use the category breakdown to identify the areas you want to improve on so you can um, nail it next time. Uh, I really enjoyed the certification process. I felt I learned a lot and it was definitely a worthwhile experience. And um, I would thoroughly recommend anyone else who wants to progress in Tableau to, uh, to start taking them. Happy to answer any questions. I hope you enjoyed my talk. Thanks very much, James. I did, I did.
Um, uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to start with a question uh, myself. Um, did you feel like you were rushed for time? Did you run out of time at all? What was that like? Um, I think it's mostly dependent on how quickly you can build the visas for the practical side. If you're really familiar with the types of visas that they want you to build, then that's where you can save quite a lot of time. If you're having to sort of work out from scratch how to build them, I think you would be pushed. Sure. Okay. So practice the, the practical side. Yeah, definitely practice the practical side. Um, I've got a question coming in from Elizabeth. How long would you recommend someone prepares for the exam? Um, I think... Well, so it come, potentially comes down to how much experience you had. Um, for me, so I've, I've been using it, uh, Tableau, for coming up on a year, and I revised all the content in a day. Um, maybe it might take you a bit longer, So, but I literally did the whole day just revising it. So, yeah, there's probably a day or two of solid revision in there. Um, yeah, definitely that give yourself sense. some time. And one more uh, question. Uh, what types of questions were in the practical exam? So you get given a data set. And um, so one of them off the top of my head was uh, different accommodation types in New York. So like hotels and uh, B&Bs and such like that. And it was <clears throat> what were the top five uh, selling in a particular region of New York? So things like that. And then pick the one that it was like in this list which one is it sure so the multiple choice pick the answer of the yeah that's it that's it yeah, yeah.